Happy Smarty Gras, Word Nerds! Oh, welcome to the parade! It's the Mardi Gras night theme game here on HQ Words. Ooh, you know it. We're gonna celebrate Mardi Gras together for the next 15 minutes. Obviously, this is the HQ Words Parade. I am your host, Queen of Words, wearer of beads, Anna Royceman. You like that? Ooh, you can find me here all over social media, right? Maybe I'll give these out. We are live from New Orleans. Okay, we are. Rumor has it Mardi Gras was updated this year and you can now show off your spelling skills to win beads. How great is that? To win beads and to win money, obviously. Tonight's prize is $1,000. Ooh, that'll buy you a ticket to New Orleans. You can join me here. But before you take off, you know what I'm gonna ask. Why don't you spin the wheel around my face for your letter? Check it out, oh, I'm in a float. I'm on a float on the parade. It's the letter wheel float. Hi, Mom, hi, Gab, wow. Everyone came out to the party, all my favorite letters. Whew, I hope that Macy's books us for Thanksgiving. Won't that be cool? Whatever letter the wheel landed on is yours for the game. It's time for the first puzzle. Remember, the faster you solve, the more money you can win. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to eat fatty foods. Are you ready? Are you ready for this thing? Here we go, puzzle one. Your first hint is Mardi Gras City. This is an easy one, I already said it tonight. Type in the letters S, O, and W. Ooh, did that help? Okay, you can celebrate Mardi Gras anywhere, wherever you are, but it's gonna be the best if you're in this city. The Mardi Gras City. And that answer is New Orleans! You heard me, we're live from New Orleans, 152,399. Are you on your way to New Orleans right now? 7,486 are eliminated. I gotta ask the chat right now because so many people pronounce New Orleans differently, right? Some people say New Orleans, like I do. Some people say New Orleans, right? That's the right way to say it. And then some people say New Orleans, which I think is, is how you pronounce it when you're very far away or never heard of it. I don't know, but I wanna know in the chat how you pronounce it. Okay, get your hands ready to catch this. You know what I'm gonna do because this is fun to throw. Whether you're at Mardi Gras or on your couch at home, you definitely know this one. I know you do. I've talked about these tonight too. It's fun to throw, but I gotta say, it's also very fun to wear. And the answer is beads. Here you go, one for you, because you spelled it right. One for you over here. Ooh, oh, I see you back there. There you go. Ooh, beads for everybody on HQ Words tonight. How many people deserve their beads? 147,000 just proved themselves. So I'm giving you these and 5,529, maybe next year. Maybe next year when we do this game again, the beads will be yours. But we're moving on. We're really taking a trip around the globe this week. Okay, we're in New Orleans tonight, but Thursday night, have you heard the word? We're heading to Scranton, PA for all of you Office fans, okay? The word has been heard. Don't miss the Office Word tonight on Thursday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. It's gonna be a great game. We had such a good week together. Okay, as if the beads weren't enough. Oh, there's more. I'm talking about Mardi Gras traditions. This is something that is guaranteed to be fun. Especially if you snag a good spot. Cause it could get crowded, it really could. But if you get there early enough, whoo, you're set. And the answer is parades! Just like we were just at the parade. Remember when I was in that wheel? I was floating through the parade. 144,520 are sticking with me in this parade. 2,529 eliminated on parades. I love parades. We should have more parades, okay? I want a parade for my birthday this year, cause why not? Are you feeling the celebration yet? Type in this party place. Okay, I've been here. But I, I haven't been here, but I know this is the hot spot to be on Mardi Gras. And you know why this is the place to be? Not only are people partying, but they're hanging out all night because apparently the bars don't even close here. 
I'm talking about Bourbon Street. Who's on Bourbon Street right now, right? Where all the good Cajun food is, the fun bars, 132,304. You want a trip to Bourbon Street, maybe. 12,219 eliminated on this fun place in New Orleans. Okay, at some point, I think the bars do close and the lights do go down and the day is done. This is what goes on when the party's over. It's always right after Mardi Gras. There's less partying and it may get a little more spiritual. But it doesn't matter how you feel. When the party's over, this is for starting over, to start anew. And the answer is Ash Wednesday. How many people got Ash Wednesday right? 121,853 solved the puzzle. 11,037 eliminated. Ash Wednesday, I guess it's tomorrow, right? And it's when you, you fast and you get to repent for all of your sins throughout the year. Really sounds a lot like Yom Kippur. That's how I relate to it. That's the Jewish version of it, the Jewish holiday. The best part about fasting though, because it's not a fun thing, is breaking it at the end. And guess what? You're close to the end. You just made it halfway through the game. Ooh, just think about all, all those parties we're gonna have soon. Maybe at the party, we will have this pastry topping. I love this. This goes great on so many pastries. Mmm. Anyone else have a sweet tooth tonight? And it's not so bad if it gets on your face, right? Maybe it's bad for a photo, but at least you're saving some for later. The pastry topping is powdered sugar. Here's someone who loves powdered sugar. We bought a we brought a great clip. Okay. <laughs> you never know when a craving's gonna come on, and there's no better city than you are. Thank you, Amy Schumer. You heard her. New Orleans is the best place for powdered sugar. She was wearing that everywhere. 92,909 got it right. 29,570. No powdered sugar donuts for you tonight. That's okay. You'll get them tomorrow night. Mardi Gras actually dates back to an ancient Catholic celebration. So you may associate this famous design with it. This is a stylized version of a popular flower. And it's a very regal motif, if you ask me. And I'm a fake queen, so I know regal. I know the look. And the answer is Fleur de Lis. Here's the Fleur de Lis, we brought it for you. It's beautiful. Ah, there it is. It's actually a motif of a lily flower, right? Fleur de Lis. It's French. Fleur de Lis. 80,738 got it right. 14,339 are heading home from Bourbon Street right now. They're getting out of here early, but Tomorrow, they get to restart. <laughs> Did you know there are some games associated with Mardi Gras? And I don't mean HQ words, okay? I mean other games. And all I have to say here is good luck. Okay, happy Mardi Gras. But more importantly, good luck. Also, hey, is there any cake left? I really want some. Good luck. Um, because you gotta find the baby figurine. I'm talking about the king cake right now where you find that baby figurine. Oh, I found it. I found it. I win tonight. That was the one I found earlier tonight when we ate the king cake and I found the baby figurine. 37,003 got it right. 45,214. You got schooled on the baby figurine. It looks like you are schooled out of the puzzle. Bye bye. That's okay. I ate the whole cake, so there wasn't any left anyway. How are you doing, word nerds? Okay, are we staying up late and continuing this thing? Ooh, you know it. We are living by this partying motto. It's a song, but it's also a great motto. Uh, 
especially for a day like today when you're looking to get a little crazy. This is a good life motto, not even just partying, because it is let the good times roll. Right, life's short, let the good times roll. It's also a good song, let the good times roll. 35,587, ooh, you're cruising through. You're letting those good times roll. 8,000 are out of the game. It was a bad time tonight. But we've let the good times roll nine times over cause you just made it to the final puzzle. Okay, you paraded through this game and now we are gonna find out who wins the gold baby. Who's gonna win that gold baby and the bunny? This will be great to add to our trip itinerary. Your final hint is New Orleans lunch. A lot of food happening. I gotta say, this is delicious. I can't wait to have it when we have lunch tomorrow or the next day. This is also a staple food down in New Orleans. They're almost handing them out to people, but you still have to pay. And for the win, the New Orleans lunch we're gonna have is an oyster po' boy sandwich. Yeah, it is. Who's getting that oyster po' boy sandwich? I'll tell you one thing. No one here is, is po'. Okay, you're all going home with a little bit of money. 30,914 smart words, smarty words. Just one HQ word, baby. <laughs> Woo, am I partying too much? Maybe. Let's see who were the fastest players in tonight's game. I'm ready for it. Who's got those beads on? Are you wearing beads? Let's see this. <laughs> oh, everyone's getting beads tonight, but in first place going home with beads at $100 is Grifford85. Look at you, you're cheering for Mardi Gras. In second place, we've got Ramar winning $75. And in third place, Drakenfire just won $50. It's gonna be a sweet Mardi Gras for you. That is the game of the year, the Mardi Gras game of the year. Congrats to all of the other winners and our latest players who spent the holiday with me. I would love to stay and chat, but Bourbon Street is so lit right now. I am gonna go wear my beads and let the good times roll, baby. I am Anna Roy. Follow me here, right here on social media. If you are playing this game from actual Mardi Gras, you better prove it and send me some pictures online. I will see you back here tomorrow night at 9.30 p.m. and every night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern for another wild game of HQ Words. Have a safe and fun Mardi Gras. I'm gonna eat some uh, some powdered sugar donuts right now, you know, for the holiday for HQ Words. Mm, it's so good. Bye, bye. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs>